Hi, my name is Jerrica Yonker, and I am going to share with you a little bit about an artist named Raymond Pettibon, who lives and works in New York City um, with his wife and son. Uh, Raymond Pettibon wasn't born Pettibon. He was born Raymond Jin, uh, born June 16th, 1957 in Tucson, Arizona. He was the fourth out of five children and he grew up in Hermosa Beach, California. Um, the name Pettibon actually came from a nickname that his father gave him, Petit Bon, which means good little one. And later he adopted it as his new surname. So that's very interesting. Um, he started He's a contemporary artist. Uh, he's famous for using ink and paint and incorporating text into his artworks. Um, he got his start in the mid-1970s when his brother had a rock band that they named uh, Black Flag. And he would paint the posters and flyers and he would make designed t-shirts and, and the album covers and everything for his rock band, his brother's rock band. And he became famous for that all through Southern California in the Los Angeles area. And he started becoming well known in the early 1980s and making uh, flyers and posters for other punk rock bands. And that is how he got his start. His style is is very comic book style. Uh, things are drawn out like the the value for light and dark is very bold in his drawings and with the text um, and his work is inspired by um, American icons like history, religion, politics. Uh, sports and he just takes little things from pretty much everyday life and kind of portrays it in a piece of art. It's very interesting. And I like his style. He's very he's a very relaxed artist. Uh, when watching one of his videos he had his big paintbrush and was just using these these big marks, like just all down the all down the page, and um, very bold strokes. Some of his paintings are done in kind of a comic book collage. You'll have a little bit of text with a picture, and more text with another picture, and I, you can tell it takes it would take a lot of time and thought, and to make it appeal to just every person, just everyday life, just especially politics and wars and yeah. This is one of the pieces that I find very interesting and it kind of, it makes me think of what we, our world is going through today. Now he painted this in 2005 and you can kind of see as this mysterious monk guy in the robe and he's reaching up towards the earth that and the earth is it's all shattered and kind of breaking apart and so it kind of creates a sense of urgency like uh, he's reaching up to either fix the earth or catch the broken pieces that might fall. And there's all these little texts incorporated into this, little phrases that say things like a, a clean break or even playing field. And to me, it kind of, it reminds me of our world today. Just there's the elections, that is driving everyone crazy and the lawsuits being filed and really and yeah there's been wars 
you know, since the beginning of mankind, we've always fought about something. And just kind of seeing that kind of broken earth there. And there's someone trying to fix it, trying to help. And we kind of all, I think we all try to help in our own way. This one, this painting is not titled. There's no title, but they kind of call it uh, They Who Have, because I think because at the top of the picture, there's this little bit of text up here that starts with They Who Have. Um, and so maybe it's kind of like a, maybe if you have the ability to fix what's broken, then you should reach out and fix it. That almost symbolizes kind of a mix between world peace and world uh, destruction. And I think maybe that might be what the artist uh, Raymond Pettibon is trying to tell us in that, that we should all reach out and try to help in any way that we can uh, to help fix our world that we live in. Right now, we need help dealing with COVID and getting through the elections and get on with our new president. And it's, it's just been a crazy world we live in. And, and I find it fascinating that this guy, Raymond Pettibon, he's so famous. He has paintings and museums, he's done books and movies, he even has skateboards with his paintings on them, and t-shirts and just everything. But yet he still acts so casual, like he's just an everyday guy, you know, everyday t-shirt and jeans guy. So relaxed and so mellow. Well, that is all I have to share with you about this interesting artist. I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you. Bye.